Human behavior can seem unpredictable. What's up, loser? Despite our best attempts, we don't always know who we can trust. Okay, cool. Get you good summertime board. I think we got you right here. And who we can't. We often find ourselves surprised or let down by the actions of others. Would you like to order now, ma'am? Um, no, no, it's no? okay. Okay, let me know if I can help you with something. Okay. Wouldn't you like to know in advance if someone is gonna be an honest employee? Yo, can I get a hand real quick? Or a reliable roommate? Hey, I thought you were gonna clean up today. Yeah, I'm totally still planning on it, I swear. Right. Or a productive business partner. It looks like you've got a deal. Excellent. Well, in Scientology, there is a tool you can use to predict how a person will behave. It's a scale that shows the range of emotional states that everybody experiences, one following the next. These different emotional states are called tones, and at any given time, everyone is in one of these tones. For example, if you were to receive great news, Joanna, congratulations, you've got the promotion. You might be in the tone of enthusiasm. But if you were to receive some very bad news, like the death of a loved one, <laughs> you would drop down to the tone level of grief. What's wrong? It's my grandmother. And just as a sudden loss can cause someone to be in grief for a short while, too many losses or too much pain can cause someone to drop down to grief and stay there, perhaps for years. And she'll respond that way toward most things in life. That's because every emotional tone level has its own unique behavior pattern. For instance, a person who is angry will do certain things. What's up, loser? You can expect him to try to dominate people by shouting at them and being abusive. Don't you tell me what to do! I own you! I own this! On the other hand, you can expect someone who is fearful to behave quite differently. So there's a chronic tone level for each person, and they'll generally behave as that tone level dictates. Therefore, if you can learn to spot a person's tone level, you'll be able to predict their behavior. And that includes everything from the way they'll communicate, get you a good summertime board, yeah, to the things they'll do. Hey! Yo. For example, busy day, dude? a person who is chronically bored Non-stop. will be neglectful. I thought you were gonna clean up today. And insincere about the truth. Yeah, I'm totally still planning on it, I swear. Right. And though they are too careless to be truly trustworthy, you know what I did do? They still at least have fair value as a friend. Got you some concert tickets for your date tonight. All right, thank you. Hey, what the hell are you doing? An antagonistic person will twist the truth to harm others. You're swinging it all over the place, you're gonna hit somebody. Just put it down. They're hostile and nagging and critical. Not there. And their value as a friend is poor. Can you do anything right? Now, the most dangerous tone level of all is covert hostility. Well, I signed up for some fashion design classes. Really? Here is the person who smiles to your face and then stabs you in the back. I love you, sweetie. And I know that you have your own personal look. Their conversation is filled with small barbs. Designers have to have a lot of talent, and not very many people make it. Because they're secretly trying to upset you, or even destroy you, without you being aware of it. Don't set your heart on it, okay? I don't want to see you get hurt. At the bottom of the scale is the tone level of apathy. I don't even know why we bother building this thing. Here is the person who talks hopelessly. No one's gonna use it anyhow. In terms of bad things, for which there's no remedy. I mean, everybody's happy just to get paid right now, right? <laughs> then what? At this point, there is so little life left in the person that they have the barest functional control of themselves, let alone any value as a friend, or a spouse, or as an employee. Um, uh, where's Frank? In fact, if you hired them in your business, this person would probably destroy it through neglect and carelessness. As you can see, 
Who we associate with is crucially important. But if you can identify a person's emotional tone, you can reduce or eliminate the risks involved in all your human interactions. In Scientology, there is a chart which shows the various characteristics found in people at these levels, so you can learn how to accurately predict what a person at that level will do. It covers dozens of different areas of behavior, from a person's ability to handle responsibility, to how truthful they will be, and what method they use to handle others. You can also learn how to identify someone's chronic tone level simply by noting what they do with their eyes. Once you know how people will behave in any given circumstance, Boss, I got it. you'll always know who your friends are, who you should associate with, and who you can trust. With this knowledge, you can form relationships that will help secure your success and well-being in all your endeavors. Now that come along. All right, cool. Good job.